Hello, I am Bridget Quinn with the NECA IBEW Electrical Training Center in Portland, Oregon. Our jurisdiction covers North Oregon and Southwest Washington. We have three different apprenticeship programs. There's a lot of different kinds of electricians. We train for three. And so these are our three distinct apprenticeship programs. Uh, wages go up every year. So if you're viewing this after the recording date, you might just want to check on our website and see what current wages are. The link is on the top of this slide. Um, so our biggest program is the Inside Electrician Program, and that covers commercial industrial work. So that's the type of license that I myself carry. And with that license, I've worked in hospitals, airports, uh, schools. I've built high-rise uh, condos and apartment buildings in downtown Portland. I've done some smaller remodel work. So really anything that's commercial or industrial. This license does cover the work of the other two licenses as well. So you could work as a limited energy tech or a limited residential electrician under the inside electrician license. <clears throat> It's a five-year program, or at least it takes most people five years to complete. A limited energy technician program is our low-voltage communications program. So that's anything that's 100 volts or less, and it has to do with communication systems within a building, such as telephone, internet, access control, security, fire alarm systems, um, CCTV, things like that. And that program takes most people three and a half years to complete. And then we have our limited residential electrician program. And that program allows you to work on any residence that's three stories or less. So that could be a single family residence. It could be a motel or a hotel, a duplex, as long as it's three stories or less. That program takes most people two and a half years to complete. So our apprenticeship, like most apprenticeships, consists of on-the-job training and classroom instruction. So you're required to complete a certain number of on-the-job training hours and then a certain uh, number of hours spent in the classroom. Classes are here at our training center on Northeast Airport Way. So your work that you're doing out on the job site, uh, that's the work you, you'll get paid for. You'll be paid an hourly wage as well as your benefit package. You'll be supervised, so you are doing your work safely, learning the ins and outs of the trade. And then when you come into school, it's day school. So we have school one day a week for two 10-week terms each year. So you'll basically, for 10 weeks out of the year, you'll come in, go to school one day a week, work the rest of the week, and then you'll do that for 10 weeks. And then you'll have 10 weeks off where you're working as many hours as your employer has for you. And then you'll come back in for your second term of the year uh, that will also be 10 weeks long. So one day a week for 10 weeks. What's unique about apprenticeship is that you are being paid to learn. And so you are earning money every year as an apprentice compared to spending money or going into debt as a college student. So in your first year, these are based off of 2023 20, wages. Uh, you're earning almost $49,000. And then each year that goes up because as an apprentice, as you improve with your training and your knowledge and your skill set, you'll, you'll be getting wage increases. So during the five-year Inside Electrician Apprenticeship Program, you're earning about $277,000. Um, what's great about apprenticeship also is that you're going to be training for a job that, that we have, basically. Um, we're in the business of training our future workforce. Uh, we're not interested in just collecting tuition from, from students. In fact, our, our programs are fully scholarshiped. So your goal will be to journey out, become a licensed electrician, uh, and then if working full time uh, at our current wages, uh, Inside Electrician makes about $120,000 a year. Our, we have tuition-free learning, like I said in that last slide. So it's a full automatic scholarship. You don't need to apply for it or fill out any forms. Um, you will be signing a scholarship loan agreement that essentially says that you are willing to repay your scholarship in kind. So basically, you won't pay us any money, but you'll stay in our industry for five or for the number of years you are an apprentice working as a journey electrician. Uh, so our, that scholarship covers your tuition, covers your books and online curriculum. Plus, we give you about 
$700 worth of really high quality hand tools, all the tools that you will need to start your career as an electrician. The days that you spend in school, um, so about 20 days out of the year, you aren't paid for those days to, to sit in the, in the classroom. Um, however, you do get compensated $300 for every term of school that you complete. While you're training with us, you're also simultaneously enrolled at Mount Hood Community College. And upon your journey level status, when you journey out from our program, you will get credit for those um, classes that you took with us. And you'll be really close to having an associate degree in applied science. And those credits are free to you. Um, we have really good benefits, health care, retirement pensions, and paid maternity leave. So you can kind of see in these photos the types of environments that we work in inside electricians. We do a lot of running pipe and pulling wire through those pipes, hooking up devices, motors, limited energy techs. They do a lot of cabling and device terminations. And then residential, you could be working in a crawl space or attic. You could be roughing in uh, a new home or an addition or remodel. And then also, you know, be doing the finished work, which means trimming it out after paint is dry. So the minimum requirements for the inside electrician and limited energy technician are identical. Uh, you just need to have either a minimum 2.0 GPA from high school or a GED. Uh, a college degree will also um, satisfy the requirement. And then you need a full year of high school algebra or a term of college algebra with a C or better. You could also complete the online tech math class that we sponsor, or you could take a college placement test at a college and place into math 95 or higher to meet that math requirement. If you took your GED, you need a 150 or better on the math section to meet that math requirement unless you've met it through your high school transcripts or college. The limited residential electrician, you need to have graduated from high school or college. There's no GPA requirement. If you took your GED, the requirement is identical to the inside electrician and limited energy program. And then you need to have a full year of high school math or college math 20 with a passing grade, or you can complete that tech math class or take a college placement test and place into math 60 or higher. So the application process, the timeline really depends on the economy and how well you rank in your interview. So it takes about three months just to get through that interview process. That first month you'll be applying. So you'll submit your application online, upload your qualifying documentations, basically your transcripts in PDF format. As long as you meet the minimum requirements for the program, you're scheduled for your aptitude test. And that will be reading comprehension and algebra. And that happens the month after you apply. And then the following month, you'll be scheduled for your interview. Um, if you're applying for the residential program, you're going to skip that aptitude test step. So you will apply. And then the following month, you'll have your interview. So your interview, you get scored. That score places you on our ranked list. Uh, and then really depends on the economy. So how busy our contractors are uh, relates to how many apprentices we're pulling in and starting off on their apprenticeship program. Many applicants, um, you know, won't, will score too high to ever get into an apprenticeship program. So it's important to prepare so that you rank well in that interview. And I'll have some, some suggestions for how to do that on the next slide. But once you do get accepted in, you're going to go through a two-week basic skills class and evaluation, which is still part of the application process. And after those two weeks, as long as you do well in that class, you'll be sent off to your first job assignment, and then you will start your apprenticeship training. Uh, so preparing to apply, you're going to definitely want to do your research. So you'll, you should really be able to, in that interview, explain why you want to be an electrician, what you know about it, that you're fully aware of the types of work environments and job sites that we work on, um, some of the some of the tasks that we perform. Um, so you really want to show you've done your research. 
And then some of the critical qualities that those interviewers are looking for are work ethic. Construction runs on a very tight schedule and all of the trades that work together to build a project depend on the trade that that happens before them finishing their work on time so that they can start their work on time and keep the project on schedule. Uh, so work ethic means showing up on time, being reliable, being a consistent worker. Communication skills are going to be very important, particularly in that interview. So you do want to be able to communicate well why you want to be an electrician, why being a union electrical worker is important to you, and then also why you think you'd make a good electrician. Electricians do a lot of math, so uh, algebra should be pretty strong uh, asset, as well as we do some trigonometry. We uh, train the trigonometry in school, but you really should be coming in with some really solid algebra skills, as well as fractions. I mean, we work off tape measures, so being able to add and subtract fractions and read a tape measure will be very important. Some experience with tools. So we wanna know that you know the basics, that you've used some tools before, uh, basic hand tools, maybe some power tools. Uh, so if you don't have those skills, maybe try to find an opportunity to gain some. And then physical conditioning, and I, and I like to emphasize fitness, not size. Uh, we have um, very large electricians, we have very small electricians, um, but we are very active all day long at work. Uh, so you should be able to remain active all day and be able to complete your work. So we would expect you to bring the soft skills and a good attitude, uh, a teachable attitude, professionalism and diligence. So working hard and wanting to do your best. So those are the tools that we expect you to already have when you enter our program. And then we're gonna teach you those soft skills. So we're going to um, you know, we're experts at teaching people how to become electricians. So we're going to teach you how to do the work of an electrical worker. We'll teach you the electrical theory behind it. Uh, while you're in high school, some ideas would be to take some classes. So take advantage of any CTE or STEM classes that your school offers. If your school doesn't offer any, maybe contact your counseling department and see if any neighboring schools have classes that you could join or maybe the community college. Uh, some examples would be construction technology, welding or metals, robotics, carpentry, anything where you're using some tools. And then some experience, you could take a look for some volunteer opportunities that involve using hand tools, power tools that might be helping out with local community agencies that maybe do repairs for low income or elderly people, uh, hobbies, so document those hobbies. If you work on your car, if you've built a fence or a deck at home, if you've done anything involving tools or building something, take photos of that. You can include that in your application portfolio. And then a pre-apprenticeship is another great opportunity. Pre-apprenticeships expose people to a variety of different trades. So you can choose the one that you think might be the best fit for you. It will also give you some experience working with tools, um, building a project, working with a team. The first step of applying to our apprenticeship program is to watch our orientation video. It's really a very important step. So uh, head over to our website, click on the applicants tab, and then the orientation video. And that video also gets updated when we make changes to our rules and policies or any of the application process. So make sure that you're watching um, that video before you apply because it may have changed since the last time that you applied. Uh, so I'm hoping that that information gives you a good starting point for applying with us at NECA IBEW Electrical Training Center. Thank you very much.